As always, the Pomeroy Sports Centre in Fort St. John was packed to the brim for the annual CKNL trade show. But with the downturn in the economy, many were wondering leading up to the show whether that would slow down vendor booth sales. But this year's edition of the show actually sold out quicker than any other year. Trade show manager Christina Hogarth said it's just too good of an opportunity to turn down. But I think that um, uh, business has recognized that the trade show is a great opportunity to get themselves in front of literally thousands of people in a short period of time. So, you know, when we're all having to work a little harder, it's a, it's a great opportunity for businesses in town. There were some new groups taking advantage of the huge crowds, like the recently formed FSJ for LNG. Smell for the Prime Minister. They had a camera set up at their booth which would take pictures of people showing their support for LNG projects and tweet it directly at Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Minister of the Environment and Climate Change Catherine McKenna. We've had about 800 tweets so far of people coming up and taking the picture for the Prime Minister and Catherine McKenna. We have, I don't know how many letters, I took home a stack of paper this high of signed letters that we're going to send out every day until the 15th of June. So tons and tons of interest, very, very busy. It's not just businesses from the north or western Canada that come to Fort St. John for the trade show. Some businesses like Misho Toys, which makes handcrafted board games, came all the way from Ontario. We do really well up here. Uh, nice long winters. It's great for game sales and here we are. Every year it gets better. Uh, once you get your client base and they add a new game to their collection and a good bunch of people up here so it's, it's very good for us. And it was certainly good for the people of the Peace Region too with more than 13,000 people coming through the doors throughout the weekend. Peter Houston, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.